Ladies and gentlemen, we are only four days away from the GTA 5 summer update called the Bottom Dollar Bounties update that is going to be coming to GTA 5 Online on June 25th. My name is GTA Pups here, and today's video, we are actually going to be talking about the real life cars that we know are coming to GTA 5 online. Again, some of the real life versions of the cars, we actually have images from GTA 5 online already, and some we don't because we just don't know names of what Rockstar is going to call them. We just know when Rockstar showed images in GTA online, uh, people in the community, you know, started researching it and, you know, finding the names of the vehicles, and that's what I'm going to be talking about in today's video. So let's dive right into it. So the first vehicle that we are going to be looking at, and that's the yellow car that we see in like the first scene of the trailer pictured on your screen right now. This vehicle is actually called the Hyundai N Vision 74. And a little bit of background information about this, the Vision 74 is a concept car developed by Hyundai. It's based on the 1974 Pontiac Coupe unveiled at the Turner Auto Show in 1974. The sporty car was unveiled at the end day 2022, an event organized by Hyundai and Performance Division in mid-July 2022. Again, this is designed, inspired by Hyundai Pon, Pon, Pony Coupe concept. And again, this is an all-electric vehicle, and it looks like the concept started in 2022, but this car is not actually released. There's probably only just a couple made, and it's an electric, two electric motor vehicle with a uh, one speed transmission. And uh, the engine is 85 kilowatts. Again, this is uh, probably they're saying is going to be coming out in production in 2026. So Rockstar, we know, has been releasing a lot of electric vehicles lately. But just looking at the photo of this real life version, the wheels just look insane. And the rims are just flat, solid color. and this. Car kind of reminds me of Back to the Future a little bit, if you can see the resemblance. So cannot wait to check that vehicle out. Let's also talk about that free vehicle that's going to be coming as rocks are confirmed and showing an image off of the overflawed Pipster Low. Again, rocks are confirmed this vehicle when the new GTA Plus benefits start next Tuesday on June 25th. Players that have GTA Plus will be getting this car for free and a week early before non GTA plus members get that. And you're probably wondering what this vehicle is in real life. Well, kind of did a little research and this is another hyper car fast. The world's fastest electric hyper car uh, made by automobile Espera. This is a, um, you know, high vehicle. And again, this is based a vehicle that was made in Italy coming from uh, uh, Estrema itself on July 6, 2023. It's a leading provider of cloud-based cybersecurity and data management, but it's purpose built for a con connected vehicles today announced partnership with Automobile Estra, the first Italian electric hypercar manufacturer. Although the collaboration upstream security provide Automobile Estrema with a cutting edge platform, empowering Estrema to the safeguard to the upcoming from all hypercar from cyber threats. Secure customer trust and deliver a unique customer experience. Firmara is set to be delivered to its first consumers in the first half of 2024. We produce in Mondin, Italy. So this car, as we speak, is probably just coming out of production. Uh, looks like to say it was made and partnered by Upstream Security Partner um, with the company called uh, Firmara, meaning lightning fast. Again, it's a 2000 horsepower electric hypercar with four electric motors featuring the most advanced battery technology. I did kind of some research on this vehicle and it's it's pretty pretty fast with the electric dual motor. So cannot wait to drive that for free in the first week because I do have GTA Plus uh, members. Let's talk about the artwork that we got. Um, and there's a new vehicle on this bottom Dollar Bounty's artwork, and you can see that image in the left-hand side of the corner, and that's based off of the Mercedes-Benz W124 
E-Class. And again, this is a mid-sized vehicle platform which entered planning in autumn of 1997 under the development of Hans Schrinberg. In July 1977, the W124 program officially began and consuming work under newly appointed Wenner Bistrotter. Uh, again, this is a Mercedes-Benz car uh, manufactured by Daniel Benz himself. Again, there's a lot of model years, but this seems to be in the W category of a 1998 version of that. So again, it's it's kind of like a, it feels like a James Bond theme. But again, this vehicle is probably based a lot over in Europe back in the day. But it's it's a more, um, you know, old looking, just classic vehicle that I can now to drive in the upcoming update. Now, we're going to be actually be getting into the new police vehicles already, uh, but I'm not going to go over the new van that we see in the trailer, the uh, new burrito. It's basically the same burrito we have now, just more customized, customizable. But I'm not going to go over that because I don't feel like that's a new vehicle. But let's talk about the vehicle at the end of the trailer. It's that green vehicle uh, cruising with the other ones. I believe it's cruising with the... Uh, the Overflawed Pistol Law at the end of the trailer. I got that right this time. That is the Bentley Barter, if I'm saying that right. And the Bentley, it's made by Bentley Motors, of course. And this vehicle is pretty sick. I've been seeing versions of this vehicle that has a top down. I'm not sure if we can put the top down in, in when it comes out in GTA Online. It might be another version of it. But the top speed of this Bentley is 209 miles per hour. And you want to know how much this Bentley Bertur cost in real life? It's around $2.1 million. Now let's keep on going here. So folks. the next vehicle that we're going to be getting in this GTA 5 Online update is the Police Durando. Again, this is actually based off of the Dodge, uh, Dodge Durango in real life. Uh, this is the first generation of the Dodge Durango in 1997. Again, it says the Durango is marked as a study truck based on the SUV design to hold up to seven passengers and to up to 7,000 pounds when properly equipped. The Durango shared a front end insurement panel and the front seats of the Dakota pickup on which was based in its tail light and lift gate handle with Chrysler's minivan models of the time. That's a little bit of a recap of the Dodge Durango. We're going to keep on moving and we're going to talk about the police Greenwood that we see in the trailer already. And we this vehicle is actually in the game already as we speak. But this version of the police Greenwood is based off of the um, based off of I don't know what it's based off of. Just, I'm not gonna just end my recording. But as we know, it's the police Greenwood. Uh, it's, I know I have the image of what it is actually going to be looking like in real life. And that vehicle is actually, um, yeah, I don't know what it's based off real life, but we got to keep on going here. But that is the police Greenwood, and it can't wait not can't wait to drive that with a police livery. And the last vehicle that we're going to be talking about is the police Impala, and this is based off the Chevrolet Impala, and it's based off the seventh generation Impala SS from 1997 to 1996. Again, in January 1990, the GMB platform's body was redesigned for the 1991 model year, though it retained the same shortness frame design of the 1977 model year design. The Impala SS badge was reinstructed at the 1992 Detroit Auto Show. So that is this 7th generation Impala, and I believe we have this car in a past GTA franchise game. I think it was either GTA 3 or GTA 4. So again, those are all the real life versions of all the vehicles that we are actually going to be getting a part of the GTA 5 summer bottom dollar bounties update. And if you are hyped for the uh, update and ready for more videos regarding when the update does arrive next week, make sure you hit that like button and subscribe for more videos regarding this update and information regarding the next installment of the GTA series.
My name is GTA Pups here, and I'll see you guys in the next video. See you later.